Um, today I'm going to talk about this powder. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. One of you, and I can't remember who had, I think it was on here, unless it was on my Instagram. Hmm, I can't remember. Uh, I know someone had said, can you please try the Stay Matte Powder because it's supposed to be the same as your favorite um, Charlotte Tilbury airbrushed powder. So I said, okay, I'm gonna try that out. So that's what I did. So that's what today's video is gonna be about. It's gonna be a short video. We're just gonna talk about these two. Um, before we get started, please make sure you click that button below, hit the subscribe button and share a new video every Monday through Friday. Ring that bell, click that bell, click the bell, check the box on desktop because anytime I share a new video, you will be notified. So as you know, I love Charlotte Tilbury powder. I love this powder. Seriously, the best powder I have ever used. But I think it retails for, I don't know, I'll pop it up there because I can't remember what it retails for because I love it. I don't like a powdery look on my face. I like it to be really, really light. I've used La Mer powder better than La Mer powder, okay? Better than La Mer powder. And I always apply, I don't have it in front of me, but I just use a, a fluffy powder brush and I apply it, but I love this powder. Um, so I decided to try this because I thought, yeah, I want to save some money. So let's talk about the packaging, the color, and then we'll get into the ingredients and everything, which the ingredients I believe are listed on the back. Yes, they are. When I was recommended to try this, um, that person had told me that the ingredients in this are very similar to this, the first three ingredients, which they're not, but we'll get into that. Um, this is the powder and I'm going to get close and I'm going to show you the colors. The colors are close, but I probably could have get, gotten a, like a lighter color in this, but they didn't have it. My Walgreens did not have it. The colors were all kind of messed up. It looks like they had an old tag on it or something. So here's the packaging. It's really cheap. I think if you were traveling with it, number one, I think it just would fall apart and break and that would be terrible. So that's how it comes. All right. And this is the color that I chose, and this is the one I have from Charlotte Tilbury. So the Charlotte Tilbury one has more like of a peachy tone. This one's a little lighter. Um, they might have a tone that's similar to this one, but my store did not have many of these in stock. So that's that. Now, as far as the way it feels, and then we're going to get into the ingredients, um, this does not feel the same as this. This feels like, Charlotte Tilbury's feels like butter. It feels like butter. It's just a different, and I'm gonna go close so you can see. I'm just gonna rub it on my hand here. It's clean, I just washed my hands. Okay, so this one, sorry, middle finger is Charlotte Tilbury. And the other one is Stay Matte. There's a different feel in both of them. This one, like I said, feels like, it feels like butter. It feels like butter. This one has a little, like a little bit of a grit to it, just tiny. I mean, if I had to compare the two, I'm just telling you. So up close, this one is Charlotte Tilbury and this one is the Stay Matte. And I can just tell by looking at that even how much finer it is than that. You can just tell by the way it looks, I think. This one is just much heavier. It's just not a light powder. That's what I really like about this. I feel like I'm not wearing powder when I wear it. It doesn't accentuate my fine lines and wrinkles. It doesn't make me look like I have cake face. It's a lovely, lovely powder. Okay, so let's go, about, let's talk about the ingredients though. So the ingredients in the Stay Matte. Um, the first ingredient is talc. The second is mica. The third is magnesium. Uh, stearate, the fourth is polyethylene petroleum, so I don't like that it has petroleum in it. Um, fentanyl, trimacone is the next one, dimethicone, uh, I, can't, I can't pronounce all of these. I'll try to remember to, um, excuse my itch. I will try, I will try to remember to add the ingredients below this, so as I'm talking about this you can read it you can you can like freeze the screen and you can look at the ingredients on here and I think I might even try to do it 
a screenshot so you can see the difference between the two because now I'm going to go over the ingredients in the Charlotte Tilbury. So Charlotte Tilbury, the ingredients in hers, the first ingredient is talc, the second is mica, and the third is polymore methylcat. I can't even say it, but you're going to see the words below so you know what I'm saying. And then there's dimethicone in it, there's silica, and I think that's what I'm feeling that feels makes it feel slick and just like butter. Um, some of the other ingredients that are in this, which I really like. So she has some things in here that I think are really good. She has sweet almond oil in it. She has rosa multiflora flower wax. Um, she has flower extract. So I like that. So I feel like there's some good things in there for your skin as well. So in my opinion, there's no comparison. This is much better. I would love to have loved this. But I just don't. I don't. It's just not the same powder. It did. I tried it on my face. I didn't like the way I felt. It just is not the same. I'm sorry to tell you that it isn't. If you really, really want a really good powder, you're going to love this. You will love this. I promise you, you will love this powder. And you want to apply it with a nice fluffy brush. You don't have to use a lot. And it just feels like it sets your it sets your makeup, but it doesn't feel. It, it just doesn't feel heavy on your face or cakey. You won't, it won't look like you have powder face. I'm wearing it now. I've been wearing it all the time on my face. I'm going to get you close so you can see my skin close up so you can see. I don't look like I have cake face. So you can see my skin close up. See? It doesn't look like I have powdery face or cake face or anything like that. It's really a lovely, lovely powder. I really, really love this powder. So that is... That is it, guys. Uh oh, I have a plastic bag in here I was leaning on, so it's crinkling. So if you hear that, that's what you hear. Um, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I really wish I liked this, but I don't still would highly recommend this. But thank you for um, suggesting this. Anytime you hear about a dupe or something you want me to try, please let me know because I want to try them and maybe they will work out for me. But this did not work out for me. Um, I'm going to return it. Don't like it. I'm going to keep this even though it's more expensive. I definitely think it is worth the money. So that is it. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I will leave the links below. I'll leave the links below for this too if you want to still check it out and this as well and all the makeup that I'm wearing today I will leave in links below so always check the show more because I always share everything um, that I'm wearing <laughs> that is it thank you so much and I will see you soon bye